So there are some key elements uh, or uh, tips that you can follow in order to try and make uh, MVNOs more successful. Tip one, setting up an MVNO, uh, whether that is in the IoT space or eSIM space or in the traditional space, uh, the first rule is to keep it simple. People always forget this and it's a phrase that is banded around, um, but the complexity of setting up a mobile service is huge, all the way from the SIM or the eSIM to provisioning, to, uh, to the HLR, to GGSNs, to configuring SIMs for a, a service and then configuring data, um, setting things like service provider names. All of these things are extremely complex and in a network operator, they not only have thousands or tens of thousands of people doing this, um, but they also have a complexity behind it, which a lot of customers find very difficult to deal with. Um, and the successful MVNOs over the last uh, 15 to 20 years have always made their launch product at least very, very simple. And that has numerous knock-on effects. A, it means they can get to market quicker. B, it means they can overcome issues with the technology easier. And finally, it makes the customer experience a lot better because uh, when a customer rings up with an issue, uh, a customer service agent can very easily be trained up quickly to answer a question on one or two very simple products. Whereas the equivalent experience in an MNO is that there are 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 different tariffs alone and they need to be passed on to different people and of course the customer experience is not going to be as good for it. If you want to know more about IoT in the MVNO space, come and meet us in the MVNO World Congress in Nice in April where you can join the workshops, you can see the streams and network with people who are actually doing the IoT as well as the people who are talking about IoT and I'll see you there in uh, Nice in April.